Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me a question on Facebook. When you're using the twirl tool, how can you find the center of the object you want to twirl? Well, there's a couple of ways, and this way isn't going to work because you, you can't visually see the center, and your twirl is going to be a little bit off. That's pretty close. So one way you could do it is hit P and put it in the center of the page, bring down some indexing lines, put them in the center of the page, and then you can... The twirl has crosshairs. Let me zoom in a little bit. The twirl has crosshairs where it's going to start. You could eyeball the crosshair right there in the middle. You have to select your item first. Then go to your crosshairs and make it even. Now, if you can't get to the center of the page on the something you're trying to, you know, it's in the middle of your graphic and you need to do it. And this is probably way too big, but our twirl tool is set at a 10 inch twirl. So let's just make a 10-inch circle. And it will go and actually snap in the center of your object. You can see it did. Now get your twirl tool and just match up those lines. You gotta click on your item first, match up those lines as close as you can and twirl it away. That's how I would do it. Twirl tool is pretty cool to get stuff like that. And then you can always, always have fun with this. Let's back up one step. Grab the twirl tool again and go the opposite direction. Click on your item. And this is cool sometimes. So you can go back, make them further apart. You can change the, you know, the size of the twirl. Let's make our twirl uh, five inches. Now we won't be in the center, but then you will only twirl those five inches. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.